Oh, hey. That's your bit. So, I need some food for our giraffe. What yep. do you think Long Neck wants? <laughs> Here, lay down. Will it get you? Well, look at me. The camera. What camera? In that cat's eyeball. <laughs> oh. Guys, I didn't even see you there. You're so tiny. <laughs> All right. We are at PetSmart. Welcome to the Weekend Vlog. Jump in here. Jump in here. <laughs> that was not a good idea. Guys, I'm sorry. I cannot resist. I know I said last weekend I will not be using the GoPro this weekend. I have to. It's just so freaking awesome. Maybe next weekend I'll use my camcorder. Also, I believe we're doing RCs tomorrow. So, I'll be... Lady Brian thinks I'm talking. Brian thinks I'm talking to the cat food. Hello, cat food. How? But anyway, <laughs> Lady Brian thinks I'm crazy. Um, so I will be strapping you to Chris's RC car with Velcro or something, because I don't have the enclosure. Yet. Definitely did. Ladies! <laughs> Dad looks bored. Is it a tiny? It is tiny. By the way, Dad GoPro... Dad looked at you like you were talking in cat food. GoPro sending me stuff, guys. They tweeted me. They're sending me a screen, I think. I hope. Dad wants to go. Oh! The moment. <laughs> okay, you're on your own. <laughs> what do I do? I was gonna, I was gonna run. <laughs> Did you hear that? The GoPro just shocked me. Bake a bone. It's not a bad idea, bake a bone. The original dog she treat maker. It's pretty cool. Hey, I'd use it. What? The girl has a magazine called Rats. She has a bag of rats? A magazine oh. called oh. Rats. Where's my coffee? Oh, oh <laughs> it's over there. This is so sacrilegious to me, but I got Dunkin' Donuts coffee. Sorry, I didn't go to Wawa. But I'll be going to Wawa later. Obviously. Oh, I know. Hilarious. Oh my god. This has Jabbyon written all over it. It looks like Jabbyon. Look, Jabbyon. Dad, we need that. Please. <laughs> Are you getting... Come on. So She's getting old. Like Treat her. 30% off. $30. We're going to Walmart soon to look for stuff for the camper. We're not getting it tonight, right? We're, we're, we're kind of just looking around. Really? We're getting in it? Nice. $20. Jasmine's gonna love it. I know. Jasmine. Explain to them real quick what happened to Jasmine. Because oh. I will be there tomorrow again. Third weekend in a For row the I'm watching the pets. Third weekend in a row. Sorry. No, we, we don't have to tell them everything. She broke uh, her jaw as a result of breaking No, 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 no. no. They know all that. Oh. Basically, the newest step with oh. her eye. They took the sutures out of her eye. Give me that for that. Okay, go ahead. And her eye is healing nicely. She Good. looks like Frankenstein's. It's like white. But they said that scar tissue will heal within a month. And she had to have her plate. No, I don't think so. I don't know. She had to have her plate adjusted and her screws tightened because somehow they came loose. But basically, she's fine. And her eye will heal. I don't know if you told him. In a month? Yep. Did you say that? Days. Yes, I, I wasn't said listening. That. Yep. Okay. How can you not listen when you're sitting right next to me? I'm looking at people. Out no, no, not them. God no. He's in such concentration. Oh, I do actually. For Maui's poop. Cat litter disposal system. Litter Genie Plus. I don't understand it. Why don't you just get a garbage can with a lid on it? It's all about branding, Father. Oh, <gasps> Maui needs a cat tower. He really Maui, does. He would crush it. No, that. He would not crush that. <laughs> How do you crush a cat tower? I don't think Dad and I are talking about the same Why thing. Why so much money? That's only my dad, dad, one's only 20. Dad, I don't think we're talking about the same thing. You can't crush a cat tower. The tower? Do you ever see Shane? You would never you know, crush it, though. It's not a box. He's bending it. Is he really bending it, Shane? Yeah. He's a, is my neck red? Bending something. It broke out when I ran off. When you jumped in the box. I have very sensitive skin. Sensitive skin for a sensitive man. You know, what the? 
Okay, look. Look, peeps for dogs. Peeps for dogs? Awesome. Look at him! Mom? Yes. Where are we? Mart of Wallness. Magically. We were just in PetSmart. Yeah, right? How's that happen? But through video magic, we've warped from location to location. And I'm here looking at Window Valance. What the Valance? frig is a Valance? Valance. <laughs> it makes you think of Vance. Vance Refrigeration. Bob Vance. Speaking of which, spoiler alert, watching Psycho. Uh, you said it rhymes with hates. I'm like, I, do you yeah, mean I'm, Psycho? I, I, I was like, the movie's not I called Bates. It's called Bates Motel. Nope, that's the show, yo. Show yo, Ron with fro yo. Wait, why are we in this aisle? So I you? had to cut as mom was talking about spoilers. That's too little. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> very. This for my pasta? <laughs> yeah, if I'm making a bowl for Maui, it's not looking, nearly enough. What are you looking for, David? I don't know. You Let's go this it? way. Do you want to get a colander? What the? Is she that creature? Do you, you want to get a colander? <laughs> what is. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that, guys. I thought I was getting a valance. You are? I thought we were just... We just walked away because you were talking about Bates Motel. I thought you were mocking the fact that I got you the wrong one. Oh, no, well, yeah, but... Well, no, it's just three piece. It was one piece, technically. <laughs> well, you got to get it, get that fixed. fixed? Yeah, you have a... It, it sounds like a cold. I do have a cold. Keep going. Gave me a cold. You have an Eskimo hat on. Hey, yeah, boy. All right, pick one. So you want valances or curtains? Like something for the top bra, just that, not like draping down. Yeah. You just said with the balance? I want white. Oh, why not black? Ew. No, black stood out way too much. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm just going to start out with the living room. Two windows. Okay. There we go. Actually, I don't know. It's kind of blah. It's probably hung up here. Dude. Well, it's better than nothing right now. It's just yeah, a rod. This, but just the balance. No, it's fine. But just the top part. I mean, it'll look better than what it is now. Yeah, it's fine. It's not one piece. Are you shaking? I am a little shaky. I see that. Do I want what? Fairy ones. Fairy ones? No, but this time I will be stabilizing this video with Infonic Upper 10. Last weekend was pure, just raw GoPro footage to give you guys an, like a true, honest, transparent view of what the GoPro was like in terms of stabilization because it doesn't have stabilization. So footage is kind of shaky. Talking to but like I said, this time in Final Cut 10, I will be stabilizing it. Slow down. So hopefully it does a good job. I'll be doing it mildly. I'm not going to do like hardcore Slow stabilization. Down. I can't stand the hardcore stabilization look because then it just looks fake. Oh, Wait, is that it? I'm just getting that balance? What else do you want? We're not done. I want you, mother. Don't touch my head. Here. Don't touch my head. <laughs> I didn't say anything bad. That just proves that you have a sick mind. Norman. This camera is so tiny. Hmm. I can't look at my hair. Oh, my hair's a I know. hot mess. I do miss my camcorder. It's easier to hold. This thing is, it kind of hurts your fingers. Oh, that's cute. I love the wide angle. It's beautiful. This aisle really lights up my life. There's just something about it. I feel so illuminated. Globes, soft white. I guess that's what you have a globe. Yeah, I need more bulbs, guys, for my bathroom because I'm down to one bulb out of four. I've had two for months now, but it's finally down to one and it's getting quite dim, so I think it could die in a matter of days. No, it's more like this, just the shape of it. I'm not sure the exact. Are they little like Description, that? Description though. Bigger? No, that's big. Actually, probably around this size though. Do you want like get? these? Like these? I was just saying, you want to get them? For five dollars, you probably get what you pay for. It's probably I don't know. Soft white. Is that what I want? I don't even know. Yeah, it's not real bright. I'm not a bulb person. I love lights, obviously, but not okay, these kinds of get. lights. Let's go. I Let's go to the video game section and see if the PS5 is out and the Xbox Four. Now this is a good deal. Look at all this candy. I'm buying your friend Lainey a box of M&M's peanut butter. Oh, peanut. 
Well, we already had somebody with. Oh, you no, got one on the way on bottom. The bottom. Yeah. I just wanted to fill them in. Because then all the people know the comments saying, But David, there was a box right there. <laughs> we wanted to get one on the bottom. Thank anyway, you, Mom. Do you know the song from Despicable Me 2? Happy? Sing it. I don't know how to sing it. It's my theme song in life. I'm getting a new TV tonight. I'm getting a new TV, Mom. Not. Right now, I'm getting That's a 65 inch no, Westinghouse. Really <laughs> no. Soon, no. In the near future. Why does Walmart still not have PS4 controllers out? Don't you find that odd? It's been out since November, though. No, but if that was the case, the Xbox One has its controllers out, though. So I'm not sure. Unless Microsoft is paying for like exclusive access between that and that. But the Wii U gamepad is out, which I don't think is a true competitor when facing against these as its own console. Yes. What do you think, Mom? I don't think. I don't know. Each I and every shampoo. console is awesome, though. Each console is awesome at doing its own thing. And that's playing games, because it honestly comes down to the exclusives. Keep that in mind, peeps. I'm contemplating, I love that word, whether I should get this or not. David. Swiffer wet jet. I really do need it for my kitchen. I Maui's did. pooping all over it. <laughs> just kidding. No, it's just messy in general from dragging in dirt from the snow and stuff. David, I got this. Got what? Swiffer wet jet. That's the refills. That's probably what I need. I got the whole. In terms thing. of that, but yeah, the refills yeah. would be nice too. The refills are almost as ex as expensive as the thing itself. I know, but I got the whole. But then again, that's not a bad deal. Twenty dollars. Does it come with something? Hold on, let me see. Yeah. What's it come with? Oh, it comes with the liquid? Yep. Or whatever. Oh, yeah. See it moving around? Huh. It's only 20 bucks, Dave. You know what? YOLO. I'm exactly. I am in YOLO mode. Yes. Should we get a refill? This was a very good week. I ordered my Mac Pro. I got a job through you. Tell them the good news about the video project. It's to be Shifu, so represent doing video work for them. Training program. Training for videos. at least a year to come. Yep. They said they want me to do a lot of work for them. Do you want a refill? So that's good. I got a new client on board. Do you want a refill? Hard work pays off. Seriously, it does. Yes, it does. Congratulations. And Todd came to you. You didn't solicit it. Yeah. Which was cool. He word of you Seriously, word of mouth is powerful, isn't it? Yes. Tell them right now. Word of mouth is powerful. Okay. And they complimented <laughs> him highly. Yes. They said, I should be proud of him, and I am. And he's very smart, and he's going to be very successful one day. I'm very passionate about what I do in I life. I told him that. I said, that's because you're passionate about what you do. Do you want a refill for $5? I might as well. Yeah. Hi, if you want to be in the vlog, I'm actually in the process. We're starting today? Yeah, because I wanted to get footage at Walmart. We are at the Colonial Diner. I'm watching our I'm weekly to Friday thing. upside down. You know how long it took me to figure it out? It was upside down. No, it's just recording. It was a big But I believe I can turn that off. I just like to say it's fine now. I was going to flip the box over just to take a picture. Yes, I brought the GoPro with me because I are going to see how it looks. You know, we are going to need it. There you go. Eight, four times. It's so awkward looking at that. I know. I it's can't fix my it's hand. even awkward for me because I can't see what I'm recording, but I'm assuming everything's in the frame. You're like still looking at the camera too. I know. I can see you through the black. I love me some French onion soup. Amazing. And of course, coffee. I set up my server in the basement. Oh, my God. Crispy cheese. Yeah. Good. Nice. How's that heater working? It's really good. It makes it climb like 10 degrees. I'm in it for the juice. Do you set that breaker off or anything? Or? I'm in it for the cheese. Cool. I'm in it for the women. That's me. You got the right price. I'm in it for the first time. First class, that I'm in it for the job is, it meets the code 100%. It does. I'm in it for the target. That should be. Who gets French onion soup? You should get it now, David. I paid a lot more for my heater. Your heater yeah, does just, just a good job. Yeah. Really? I don't think yeah, I'm gonna take a cheap alcohol brand, but I, I got like a three year, two or three year warranty on it, so it was fine. Yeah. It'll be fine. So I'm looking at it. Oh, what'd you do with the other? I know. What'd you do with the other? It's because it's recording us. Oh, God, I know that. Why? <laughs> These guys really geeky. Go make a cup of coffee and come back. It's the motor only circle. Fuck it back in. Turn your printer on. Then turn your printer off. Okay. Then turn your printer back on. This should do a hand shake. The motor roller should be up and running. If that doesn't do it, you're screwed. Okay, cool. We got the exact same one. If that doesn't do it, you have to wait until your birthday. Yeah, it's my anniversary. Yeah, I got to wait until your birthday. My anniversary is closer. 
<laughs> I forget how mine was probably like My birthday's next. What can happen for my birthday? Like, <laughs> I can have for Daddy's birthday. Yeah, I, I probably feel like 70 Our anniversary's in 10 it days. Oh, I can have it for your together. anniversary. 30 years. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Crap. You know By the way, Mom has been recording you know this recently, right? Yeah, yes. I've been watching the pictures. Yeah, that's you guys have been recording that whole time. <laughs> so how's that? I'm planning and farming. That thing is so... What's with What's the blinkies? That's what the creepy. Yeah, it's a... Yeah, it's a it's recording. Recording. <laughs> Ladies, it's me again. No one here. <laughs> that's so what? creepy. Was that good? No, that's going to be weird and wide angle. Like, uh, my face is like... He's the shelf at PetSmart by the cat food. Oh, you'll and, see it, you'll see it on Monday. And we were acting goofy, doing stuff. And then I walked away, and the, and the lady that works there comes out of the bathroom, and he's standing there, staring at the cat food, talking. Like, he looked like he was talking <laughs> to the cat food. She, like, took a double take. We'll say your card info. At 10. I'm going to hack you. Oh, at 10. Oh, you're recording? <laughs> They're going to hack you and buy five Mac Pros. Do the math. Five times yeah. three, 15,000. At three, least. Three, 15,000. Plus tax. <laughs> I will kill you, Tiff. Winch much? Yeah, well, if she puts her freaking finger in my freaking ear. She gave wet willy? He hates that one. I hate wet willies. It's up there with Android. And styrofoam? Just kidding. Calm down, peeps. Oh, it's that's not funny, Mom. It's not funny. Now my ear's wet. Dry it out. Dry it. Thank you. Mm, yeah, that's good. <laughs> it's amazing how loud it is. No! It's amazing how loud it is. You can just throw that thing. I know, so it's tiny. so light. I really think it's like my It was that! It was that! It was that! I'm calling the police. I was gonna say she ran her shoes, but she's like, oh, you fail. Teresa, your shoes are here. Oh, I don't want any more now. You sure? Oh, no. Right, I'll have one. <laughs> I don't have one. Do Just one? Look, peeps. I can't do the liquid. I keep wanting to like, put it close, but I know I don't have to. Oh, I don't want three. Here, you guys take two. Okay, take one. It's not even my eyes. I put them on. My eyes are so much fun. I don't understand. So it focuses. Yeah, it, it's, it's fixed focus. Oh, yeah. It that's doesn't right. really. Yeah, that's right. It's really meant for like wide angle shots. 128 just passed. That was my favorite number. It is my favorite number. So like time recording or something? Actually, if you stop it real quick. I hate that so much. I'm raging right now. In my head. There we go. Welcome back. If I don't like it, I'll just... Show it, dude. Show it. Show it. Show it. Show it. Proof, proof, proof. Show it. There you go. Yeah, in case there's some kind of file with the police. Good night! Peace! Good times tonight at the diner. No, really, seriously, good times. I love our diner nights, especially when Chris and Tiff were there. So many laughs, so many good times. And I got some more video, which is good. All right, let's not GoPro while driving. It's kind of dangerous. I'll see you guys at DeFranco Media Headquarters. I am home. Let's turn the heat back up to 65. 65 is good, that way I don't use too much oil. And then, I usually put my space heater on for right here while I game. Smart, huh? Or maybe it's just common sense. But yes, I'm home, time to unpack all this stuff. But included with the stuff that I bought at Walmart is this. I forget if I told you guys, I'm pretty, actually I probably showed you in Walmart. I forget what I record sometimes. Actually I did, yeah. The Swiffer Wet Jet. So that's good, I can finally keep this floor nice and clean. And also, my mom was nice enough to get me this. She was really excited about it. She just gets excited. <laughs> she gives a man crust and stuff, I guess. But this could actually be really cool. Grill sandwich. Uh, sandwich? Did I just create a new word there? Sandwich. So I can make grilled cheese easier than ever. And look at that. You can make a, like a million grilled cheese sandwiches at once. Why do they put so many on the box? And I finally got this little doohickey, a strainer for my pasta. Instead of having to tip the pot over, uh, you know, when I dump out the remaining boiled water or whatever, I always have to hold it in with a spoon. But now I can just do that easily. And I got uh, aluminum foil, curtains for my windows, which should be exciting. Pulling the living room together, toothpaste, Oreos, double stoof. I call them double stoof because there's only one F. 
at least if you're going to say it phonetically, it should be double stoof. Um, Swiffer, cleaner, if that's what you want to call it. It's always a good idea to have extras. Do you guys care about this? I'm just walking you through. This is like a shopping haul video, which I find to be pretty interesting. And shampoo is all. I think that's it, besides the dinner I brought home from the diner. So, like I said, good times tonight. I love our diner nights. It's actually the highlight of my week. Good morning, my fellow peeps and peepettes. I guess peeps is universal, male and female, or object. So if you're an object and, and you're watching this video, congratulations, that's quite the accomplishment. But seriously, um, it's almost noon. I'm going to Chris's house in about an hour. And I don't think Ashley escaped the watches my videos. Hopefully I said that right. Uh, but I want to give her a congratulations as well. Apparently she's joining CNET. That's cool. And as I said in my tweet, hard work certainly pays off. People will notice your work which is awesome. For example, and this is in no relation whatsoever to Ash's great news and it's actually not nearly as huge, but it's a good example of you never know who's watching you. Um, on Monday when I uploaded my weekend vlog, you know, the GoPro edition, I woke up the next day, I think on Tuesday, yeah, seeing a tweet from GoPro. And keep in mind, I didn't even reach out to them first on Twitter. They reached out to me first. They said, we're stoked by David Franco's recent interest in the GoPro that we'll be sending him a bunch of GoPro gear to have fun with. So I was like, what? So they DM'd me. I sent them my, you know, all, all my shipping info, all that stuff. So apparently GoPro is going to be sending me a few items to enjoy. And I'm hoping one of those items is the little screen that goes on the back. Uh, if they watched a vlog, then they probably saw me, uh, you know, mention that. But that is exciting news. And again, it's just a prime example of you never know who's watching your content. So always be sure to try your best. Don't start stupid Twitter fights or whatever because back in the day I used to be involved in a bunch of stupid social media drama. Nowadays I try to keep it clean, keep it professional. Well, professional. I don't claim to be a professional. I claim to be a prosumer, a, prof a professional consumer. I consume content on a professional level not just content products as well in terms of Final Cut Pro 10. Um, but then again, I'm sort of an amateur. I don't, I don't know what to call myself. The point is, work hard and it will be worth it, I promise. And here's a preview for Tuesday's video. This one, I'm trying to say that quicker and quicker. You probably don't even know what I'm saying. Anyway, today's question is a really good one and honestly, it's a very important topic because it's something that's very passionate and near and dear to my heart. It's like it all sappy. And that's all I'll say about that. Don't worry, it's something too serious. But it is it is an important topic uh, for YouTube content creators and I feel like I, it's, it's something that I wanted to share with people because I think it could help at least one person. One person. If I can change one person's life, then I've done a good job. And I've actually changed multiple people's lives. Um, I know that sounds a bit dramatic, but people have actually emailed me saying, David, your positive outlook on life has really changed the way I treat others and talk to others and just my outlook on life has changed because of you. And I love when people say that. It really does mean the world to me. It, it, just, it just means I'm doing something right and that people actually appreciate me and my content. So thank you very much. All right, I really need food and then I'm leaving. So leftover buffalo chicken wrap from the diner last night. Now get this, I did not have coffee yet. Crazy. And I apologize if my lips are chapped. That's one of the things about winter. I can't see myself right now with the GoPro. So I can't tell. What am I doing? I'm so out of it. But yeah, I'm stopping at Wawa on the way to Chris's house. Are you surprised? Come on. So I'm gonna have lunch real quick and then leave in about a half hour for some RC goodness. And I gotta say, I'm a little nervous that this is my GoPro's first real adventure outside of my hands, so we'll see what happens. By the way, do you like my shirt? Metroid, yo. Got it from Nerdblock. Check out my unboxing if you haven't already. Now, I'm not a huge Metroid fan. I've only really played Metroid Prime and maybe some of the classics in terms of some kind of trial or demo on the eShop. Well, I don't think so. I guess I really have only... Oh, no, 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 that's right. Okay, I've played Metroid Prime 
on the GameCube, never beat it, I got lost, but then again, that's back in the day when I was really lazy with video games and I quit easily. Nowadays I don't, I beat pretty much every game I have, for instance I just beat Tomb Raider Definitive Edition on the PS4, seriously, just as amazing the second time through um, as the first time through on the Xbox 360, I loved everything about it, it was just such an incredible game. And then the other Metroid game I played was on the... Crap. Was it the DS or Game Boy Advance? I want to say like Metroid Z. No, no, not Metroid. I don't... That goes to show you. I'm not really a huge Metroid fan, but I do appreciate Metroid and Samus for who she is. And I love this shirt. I'm more of a Mario person. Or Mario. People hate when I say Mario. Hey, it's a Jersey thing. Maui just did his business. Maui, I'm leaving. Come here, Mau. I left plenty of food and water for him. I would normally leave him outside if it was nice out, but it's just cold. And apparently, we might be getting 12 inches of snow on Monday, which is insane. But then again, I've also heard that we might just get an inch. Like I've said in the past, that's just how South Jersey is. It has to be just perfect for us to get any kind of significant snowfall. Really, Maui? Why does he scratch on the dryer, or the, the washer, rather? He thinks he's burying his business, but he's not. There you go, Maui. Keep it in the litter box. Yeah, and he's also making a mess. You see all the litter and whatever? I'll sweep that when I get back. Anyway, Maui, I'm leaving. I'll see you in two days. Um, He's fine. He's been in here longer. I gave him plenty of food and water as I just showed. And I always leave this door cracked so he can sleep in the living room. On my very g red couch, which by the way is finally retiring. Well, soon. Um, my living room's going to have a little makeover. Because I'm buying an area rug to put in the center there to hide my cables. But anyway, that's another weekend vlog. So okay guys, I'm going to wild wild and I will see you at Chris's house for some RC goodness. Okay, so I haven't left yet. But I just found one of Maui's balls, a little pink balls. Apparently he knocked it under the entertainment center. But watch, he loves these things. Hey Maui, go get it. He goes crazy. Where are you? There you are. Come here. Good boy, ready? Ready? Go get it. Keeps knocking it, but behind the obstacles. Ready? Go get it. There you go. That's how it gets stuck. Get it now, pick it up. Pick it up. He can. He has before. There he goes. Well, he had it. All right, Maui, I gotta leave. Okay? I'm not even using any kind of adapter or mount for the Mac. Yeah, Mac Pro, guys. I have a friggin' Mac Pro. Mac Pro's on my mind lately, obviously. The GoPro. But, um, it's gripping fairly well. Because I get. <laughs> I say that, it slides back. That's okay. Um, it actually grips fairly well. I guess the bottom might be like a rubber and it's causing some kind of friction with the material it's sitting on, which is nice. But I will still be using the adhesive mount that came with it, or at least I'll look into another one. Because I do have the bag of mounts and accessories in my backpack with my MacBook Pro behind me. Because um, like I said, this thing is going on an RC today for the first time ever. We're going to see if I have an adapter that works with it. I don't think I do. So I think I'm going to have Chris Velcro you guys to the RC with the skeleton um, enclosure on. That way you still get some audio. Or... I might just throw in some music because I don't think you want to constantly hear it hitting the pavement if we do some flips because like I said this thing will be in the skeleton because I obviously don't want the GoPro to get damaged but it's intended for that I mean this thing has been dropped out of planes yes actual airplanes and it survived just fine as long as it's in the case so it should be interesting it's a new experience it's gonna be exciting next up 
the island of misfit wawa that's what my parents call it anyway i am here at christopher's house i will leave out the word sir please do they don't know what we're talking about <laughs> Anyway, he was just walking me through his new server PC, right? Yep. For your media? Yep. He has seven hard drives? Yep. What, what, what is the total amount of space? Like five. Almost, almost seven terabytes. Seven, nice. That's that's a lot of porn. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, I feel that's better that we both bad. kind of said it at the same time. That's pretty bad. No, seriously, it's like, it's like movies and music, yeah. right? And, and TV shows, shows, Friends, yeah. he loves Friends. Yes. Love friends. Oh, dude, you'll be proud of me. I actually watched a couple episodes of Friends last weekend at my parents' house. So what did you think? It was good. Yeah. I mean, I've seen it before with you guys. Oh yeah. You when did. I had the cheeseburger you soup. Though. You weren't paying attention though. True. We were probably talking the whole time. Yeah. All right. We are gonna try to figure out how to mount the GoPro to one of these. I don't know which one we're doing yet. Probably the car or the truck. Try to do both. Okay. Well, I mean, first you want to start out with the car since that's probably simpler. It won't really. I don't know. We'll have to see. All right, this is an audio test. Hopefully you guys can hear me. You're in the skeleton case on the GoPro. On the GoPro. On the GoPro, as well as the RC. Hey, Jade. It's a nice view of your booty. Yeah. You're a good girl. I'm not molesting your dog. He's all up my face. So anyway, I am using the skeleton case right now, so hopefully audio sounds somewhat decent. But get ready for some RC action. This should be a good test. Isn't Jade a good doggy? Hi, Jade. Hi. Want play? Want play? Roof. Roof. Good girl. All right, chill.
Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> What's that mean? I think the motor's toasted. Are you serious? <laughs> I think so. Well, it turns out I just blew the motor. Hey, it's gonna happen sooner or later. But we sold my car. I don't know if we're gonna strap into my car though, right? I can try, try to figure something out. Okay. It's actually facing down. My fellow peeps, you are now, sorry, I'm looking at the video. You are now strapped onto Chris's car, which is oh, what? Show him that. T top speed of what? I clocked it at 31 miles per hour. That's not bad. It, it looks faster than 31 on video. I thought it was gonna be faster too, but. It looks I have like, more a, like 45 or 50. I have a 3S battery on the way, so it'll definitely be faster. You got it. It's so wide. So she said. The body's not on, but I'm going to trust Chris and not destroy you guys. So good luck. Have fun. You're pretty hardcore strapped in here <laughs> with Bunker. Like, you have Bunker all over you guys right now. <laughs> you can barely see the actual camera. Enjoy. Okay, it's fine. Well, that was fun, to an extent. <laughs> We've had a few accidents, as I told you guys before. The motor on my truck is fried, literally. It was smoking. Um, you couldn't see it because you were mounted to the truck itself. Then Chris and I had a major accident with our car as it spun out of control, and I don't know what that's called. What the, what the, the yeah, front piece of my hood broke off, the, so uh, I gotta buy one of those. The body post. Okay, the body post. Chris's problem might be a little more serious, but it's he's the, uh, snapped it back into place. It's the lower A arm, you can't really see it. I snapped oh, it back yeah. into place. I snapped it back into place, so it should be good for now. I felt bad, I'll but he says it's it. not a big deal. It's probably like a $5 part. Because it like, happens, right? Yeah. I mean, it's not like it costs $1,000. No. That would, Better not. That the would be a lot. I know, that, that, that would be a lot of money. <laughs> but it was fun, and we'll see what the footage looks like. We're actually going to go inside and preview it. Yep. Stop blowing me. <laughs> actually, the GoPro, the, uh, wind thing probably just freaked out because it's oh, not right. too good with it. Guys, look at my car. <laughs> However, I think that's proof that it's been a pretty successful run. <laughs> look at that. That's terrible. That is disgusting. Because no. I was all in that ice and water. Alright, so what do we do? Just put this on the floor. I mean, no, outside. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think you want grass all over <laughs> your kitchen. Let's do this. Compared to yours. Okay, look at this comparison. That's Chris's car. So much cleaner.
Much better. Janey Wayney. GoPro edition. I just got back from Chris's house. Awesome time, seriously. We had such a great time with the GoPro. And I was sticking on my way home. The GoPro, in a way, has opened up an entirely new category of video opportunities for me to share with you guys. I mean, I'm really, really excited. For instance, somebody commented, what was that? Ah, Smokey. Um, like a few days ago, my GoPro unboxing, or oh, no, actually my, my uh, weekend vlog, GoPro edition, saying that I could take the waterproof case in the ocean at Seaside Heights. And I was like, and I was thinking, wait, why didn't I think of that? So it just imagine, because I mean, in the summer, I'll be taking this thing in the pool, just as long as I have the waterproof case on. In the ocean, with a wrist strap on, I'm gonna look into getting some kind of wrist strap, because I would hate to lose this thing. And I was talking to Chris about it. How many GoPros do you think are at the bottom of any of the oceans in this world? There has to be at least one GoPro just chilling on the ocean floor, like hundreds of feet down. Just imagine. I mean, I would be mortified if I lost my GoPro. So I will definitely be buying some kind of wrist strap. That link's on here somewhere. There has to be some, some kind of contraption I, I, I can buy. Because I was researching GoPro accessories. There's literally an accessory for everything. There's actually a flotation device for the GoPro itself. And it has this bright orange color. So if you lose it, then you can easily find it in the ocean or a lake or a river, wherever you're taking it. I'm looking at Jamian. And there she is, just to warn you, her eye is white, but it's open and that's a good sign. Right, Jamian? Say hi. There you are. You don't look so bad, right? You're still a beautiful doggy. And you're getting a little plump, so that's a good thing. You have an appetite again. It's just really nice to see Jasmine's eye actually open and visibly working. You get it visibly working? Stupid joke and inappropriate. No offense, Dad, but seriously, it is, it is great that she's back to normal. Um, the eye is self-healing, which is kind of amazing if you think about it. No, Josh, stay there. So it will be back to normal within 30 days. Actually, by the time I have my Mac Pro, her eye will be back to normal. So I guess that's how we can relate the two, two, two timelines or whatever. So I did stop at Wawa, obviously, what else is new? I got oven roasted turkey on white bread with spicy mustard instead of mayo. I'm trying something different. American cheese. Um, meat, that means turkey. <coughs> Lettuce, tomato, pickles, and oregano. Jasmine, I love you, but that bark. Anyway, Chris and I were previewing some of the GoPro footage from the RCs today, and it looks really, really good. We learned some mistakes that we won't make next time. For instance, we have to put the GoPro higher up so we can capture more information because the road kind of does like a bow effect. It looks cool, but we definitely missed out on some action. Um, but still, overall, it was a great experience, and it's just going to get even better from here on out. That episode of Dexter was really good. We just found out something huge. And yes, I'm watching Dexter. I don't think I told you guys yet, but I started watching it earlier this week. I'm on episode 10, maybe? I think, I think there's 12 episodes in season one. I gotta say, the show started out kind of slow, and I was like, David, give it till maybe episode three or four to see if you like it. And then it really started to catch on right around episode four or five, I believe. And the show just got really good from there on out. Now, in my opinion, it's not as good as a show like Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad is still one of my favorite shows of all time. It's up there with Lost and The Office, even though The Office has nothing to do with, you know, storyline, like deep, deep storyline. But so far, I gotta say, I'm really enjoying Dexter, and I look forward to each episode more and more. So that says something. Mr. Pants. All right, Hunter. Say hello to the GoPro. The pro of Go. The GoPro that is pro for going pro. Pants. Now I have to move some cars around in the driveway. I have to move my mom's car up and then put my car behind that car since it might be snowing tomorrow. Hunter, you can stay down here and chill while I enjoy my coffee upstairs. It's the first of the month today, which is when I usually, usually do the traffic reports. I know today is not technically a work day, so I might wait until Monday to do it, but I like to get them done ahead of time, especially while I'm here. It's just I hate doing them on my MacBook Pro. I like having two screens. Another example of why, in my opinion, having dual displays is crucial to getting some serious work done, because I usually like to have the Google Analytics on the left monitor, and then my Excel spreadsheet on the right monitor, my primary monitor. 
So with my MacBook Pro, I'll be doing Command Tab a lot. But um, we'll see. We will see what happens. And there you go. That is my office for the next two nights. Hey, I'm not complaining. I actually love just chilling in this bed, watching TV, getting some work done, catching up on social media, all that good stuff. And plus, I have this little creature to keep me company. Right, chat me all? Pretty soon, I'll be getting notifications like that on my Mac Pro via Mavericks. Oh, and also, I want to make a quick correction with my Mac Pro configuration video. I'm really, really glad you guys enjoyed it so much because I had a lot of nice comments, and some of you were blown away by the video quality. Thank you. I did. I kind of did that on purpose because I realized further back the background is the greater depth of field I have and I messed around with color grading big time in Final Cut Pro the time Final Cut Pro 10 this time around so that that was a lot of fun and I'm glad it paid off so anyway in regards to that specific video I do want to make a one one big correction the SSD in the new Mac Pro is user replaceable I'm not sure why I said otherwise uh, because I actually run MacProUpgrades.com, which is actually kind of ironic because I have an entire section dedicated to SSDs alone. So that was a mistake on my part. So I apologize for misleading anyone. I technically did know it's user replaceable. I guess I just forgot when I was making my notes because I run a website all about it. I'm not sure. Guys, I honestly think the older I get, the stupider mistakes I make. Or at least my memory is failing me. I don't know. I hate to see what, what I'm going to be like by the time I'm 50. Maybe still on YouTube. If YouTube's still around, you never know. What do you think, Jamion? Jamion! Jamion, answer me! What do you think? Is my memory going to hell? Okay. Poor Jamion in her eye. She'll be better, though. That's all that matters. Also, I wanted to throw this out there. I've seen... Other people criticize me, and I know I don't have to defend myself or answer to anyone. It's my choice, but I still want to put this out there anyway. I've had several people criticize why I went with the D700 rather than the D500. Well, my answer to, to that is, why not? I mean, wouldn't you rather have more power than less, especially a couple years from now? I don't want to go with something like the D500 and regret my decision two years from now, three years from now, or even four years from now. Because if you haven't noticed, each and every major update to OS X is kind of being more dependent on your GPU because, as you know, Apple likes their flashy design and their transparency and all those fancy animations, and that requires some horsepower from the GPU. And believe me, I'm already seeing some cutback on my current Mac Pro because I'm running two displays. So that's exactly why I'm going with the D700. Because, why not? I'd rather have more power two years from now than less power. Again, I don't have to answer or defend myself to others, but for whatever reason, people always criticize others' purchases whenever you talk about it on YouTube. And I know some people are trying to help, but sometimes people are just rude. Like they're saying, David, you can't play games on a D700. Really? I can't play games? I'm pretty sure I can still play games on a D700. It may not be a gaming GPU, but that doesn't mean I can't play games. I, I, I just think people are a bit dramatic sometimes. I'm not ranting. I'm just simply responding to comments. And also, guys, do not forget, follow me on Instagram, instagram.com slash David DeFranco to see pictures like this. Look at that. GoPro action. And actually, that photo alone got over 125 likes on Facebook. So be sure to follow me over at facebook.com slash David DeFranco as well as twitter.com slash David DeFranco. Yes, The Social Network. Such a good freaking movie. If you haven't seen it yet, please watch it. They did such a great job at capturing the feeling of starting a startup and creating one of the most popular websites known to mankind. It really is a good movie. It's well paced, nothing over the top. It's educational to some degree and it's just it's just very freaking good. And now I'm watching Armageddon. And this is interesting. I'm just checking my PayPal account and apparently Apple charged me for my Apple Care. Very interesting. 
it was auto enroll. But it's interesting that they charged me ready for the Apple Care. Hmm. And by the way, it's March. Happy March, my fellow peeps. That means there's a very small chance my Mac Pro could be shipping this month. We'll see. Apple's got some fixing to do. Check this out. Find a 7-Eleven. Checking my sources. The answer is minus four. Really? Jasmine, that's such a weird stance. Is that even comfortable? <laughs> As Autumn just runs by and Smokey slowly follows behind. Jasmine, what are you doing? Jasmine. Well, maybe you shouldn't have put random objects in your mouth. Don't attack him. Good girl. Be good. So I just finished watching Armageddon. It was kind of like background material. It's probably like my 20th time seeing it throughout my life. Awesome movie. I mean, obviously it's not realistic whatsoever. But I gotta say, wait, did, I think that movie came out in the 90s, didn't it? Because it was a huge deal back then. And getting to my point, the movie holds up really well. Like it easily pass for the special effects that we've been used to for probably the, at least the past five years. So yeah, I mean, I just gotta say the movie holds up really well to today's standards. So now I'm going to have some chicken salad. It's almost 1 a.m. but that's not gonna stop me from doing what I love, obviously, because I'm not gonna be in bed till at least four. You guys know me. Because Wawa Mama was nice enough to make me egg salad. It's the homemade egg salad. Uh, egg sa I keep saying egg salad. Chicken salad, because I'm just so used to the egg salad that now we're doing chicken salad this weekend. Awesome, I freaking love this stuff. And also, I wanna talk to you guys about my monitors in a future video, like in deep detail, uh, because I have been researching. It's very likely that I will not be going with an Apple Thunderbolt display for a thousand dollars, it's just not worth it. I'm sorry, I love Apple. The design is beautiful, the functionality is awesome. It looks like a great display all around. I mean, it's getting excellent reviews left and right. But I was doing some research, and I kind of knew this, obviously, but now I'm really doing some real, real research. I can get two similar Dell displays or two similar Asus displays for a total of between $1,100 and $1,200. So for a little more than the cost of the Thunderbolt display, I can get two similar displays, maybe even with extended functionality. I mean, it doesn't have the built-in webcam, which is actually a nice bonus, but I have a webcam, so that's not a huge deal. Smoke! What's up, Smoke? You're so cute, look at you! But anyway, like I was saying, I already knew how cheap they were. I was just really set on an Apple Thunderbolt display, but then after I saw how much the Mac Pro actually cost, I was like, well, maybe my money is better spent towards other displays such as Dell or Asus. And I gotta say, I'm really, well, I'm 90% sold on a, on a specific Dell display. I will link it below in case you're interested. It looks really good. The reviews are excellent. The, the picture quality looks amazing. And get this, it uses mini display which I'm just now finding out as of last night that the mini display port is geometrically the same exact size as Thunderbolt. I was not aware of that because I never used a mini display uh, device before. I've always been DVI and HDMI. Actually, no, my monitor might be mini display. I might be using it in an HDMI to mini display adapter for my current video card. I'm not entirely sure, but either way, the point is I never really read up much on mini display until just last night, like I said, and it looks really impressive. I wasn't aware of the fact that it carries audio like HDMI does. So, fast forwarding to my point. I'm sorry, I just love to talk about technology. Smoke, what are you freaking out for? Don't worry, I'll feed you in a bit. Actually, you, you ate earlier, but I'll give you some chicken. Okay? Good deal? Good deal. So anyway, finally getting to what I was trying to say, mini display devices work in Thunderbolt ports, but not the other way around. So basically this Dell display, two of them that I want to get, will plug into my Thunderbolt ports just fine, leaving me four free Thunderbolt ports 
on the Mac Pro itself, as well as the HDMI uh, ports, which is really nice. So I would still have that HDMI port free for whatever I, I want to use it for. But I was just really amazed by the fact that um, mini display works on Thunderbolt. I wasn't aware of that until last night. Again, just because I never really needed mini display before, at least not in a, in a primary sense. So if I do get those displays, obviously I'll unbox both of them on YouTube very soon after I get my Mac Pro. It depends how many funds I have left over. And get this, I played it smart. I purchased my Mac Pro using my credit card. That way I get a crap load of points towards some kind of rewards like gift cards. And then I'll pay off my MasterCard payment, boom, like that using my PayPal account as if, as if it never happened. So in a way I'm getting free points towards maybe some PayPal funds that will go towards my displays. Or maybe even other things like my keyboard, my mouse, and maybe an external drive or two. All right, enough talking. Let's take the chicken salad. Okay, you know what? Never mind. Let me give Smokey a little bit. Hey, Smoke. You're a good kitty. Yeah. So affectionate. I love it. Ah, uh, back in bed with my chicken salad. And my J-Man. Now time to watch another episode of Dexter. Where is the Google Play remote? Well, Google TV. Did I just say Google Play? I don't completely agree with Google's branding of Google Play with their store. It doesn't make sense. For instance, what I just said, Google Play. That's what Google TV should be called. Well, the word, the brand Google TV works. Do you guys always, I just... I don't get Google's logic behind calling their app store Google Play. You don't go there to play just games. You go there to find productivity and business tools and marketing tools for the more serious people out there. Do you see what I'm saying? I, I don't know. I mean, it doesn't really matter because people know what Google Play is all about. It's just funny how I happen to call this Google Play because I actually like that brand name a lot. But seriously though, where's the freaking remote? Wait, oh, what? Oh, what? Excuse me. There it is. And look, it has a built-in keyboard. Isn't that awesome? I love that a lot. The online, inter the online, the interface as a whole is kind of clunky. It has that, sorry, it has that cheap Android feel to it. But the functionality is great. Awesome episode. The ending drove me nuts. It was like, right there. That's okay. That's okay. It's eventually going to happen. I know it. Interesting. Okay. One thing I really like about Dexter a lot is the fact that it airs on Showtime, which I didn't even know until I started watching it. In other words, it's not on regular TV. So they can drop F-bombs here and there, which in my opinion makes it more interesting as they have less limitations and they can show a little booby, you know. Um, I'm not in it for the boobs, obviously. But I'm, I'm just saying, I like when shows have less limitations. Meanwhile, Jasmine's just passed out on the bed. Jasmine, you have the life. Jasmine. I might be watching one more episode. Oh, and also I gotta say, the soundtrack is really good, which is why I was showing you guys the end credits. The meow, 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 meow. I love that, it has like a creepy vibe to it. I'm almost done season one, I'm on episode 10 now. I just finished Father Knows Best, the episode's called. Um, Dexter fans out there know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm very interested to see how this season ends. The only thing I'm nervous about is apparently, and I've heard this from many people, apparently the actual series finale is kind of stupid. Uh, obviously, I don't want to know how it ends yet because I will be watching the, 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 you know, the entire series. But that just kind of sucks. I hate when a very good show ends on a bad note. Kind of like Prison Break. I loved Prison Break, but I didn't like the ending. However, Lost. A lot of people hated the Lost ending. I loved it. Yeah, it felt a little easy in my eyes, but the way they presented it, 
it gives me the ultimate freaking chills every time. And I'm not going to lie. I teared up here and there. That, that, that show was just powerful. The most powerful show I've ever watched in terms of following your destiny and the whole everything happens for a reason kind of thing. I, I just find it fascinating. One of the best shows I've ever watched. Okay, let's go downstairs and make some coffee. Oh, there's my iPhone. I was texting Chris just now. Um, we copied some of the RV footage. RV? Did I just say RV? RC footage onto his PC. And he's making his own video edit. I don't, I don't think he's putting it on YouTube, but Chris, if you're watching this, you, you can put it on YouTube. I don't care. Um, but he just kind of wanted to have fun with it. Notice every time I come down here, I always look outside. It's just a habit. You're, you are in extremely low light right now, so I'm interested to see how the GoPro performs. Hunter Pants? Hunter, do you want some coffee? No, you don't want coffee. Activate light. Activate Keurig. Actually, I need to fill up the Keurig. Okay, so this is just further proof that I think these companies need to do a better job at making it obvious uh, that mini display works with Thunderbolt. So I said to Chris, and yes, I realize this probably isn't even focusing because, again, it's fixed focus. Um, I said, dude, did you know mini display works in Thunderbolt ports? Blah, 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 blah. He says, oh, no, didn't know that. I wanted to try that with my new monitor, but none of the cheaper ones support it. And then I said, yeah, I find it fascinating. I had no idea. It just doesn't work the other way around. And then I told him about my Dell displays. Yeah, by the way, I just found out my mom is fascinated by the fact that Taco Cat, spelled backwards, is Taco Cat. Speaking of Taco Cat, make the jump. Go ahead. Don't hesitate. Nice. I give that, I don't know, like a 7.5. It's just, just a little sloppy. You know, it's funny too with Autumn. She rarely meows, and when she does try to meow, it kind of comes out like, like, just annoying. <laughs> Look, she's in the sink. Come here, Autumn. Come here. You're such a cute kitty. Look at you. Look at you. Okay, you don't have to put your freaking paw on my face. Represent. <laughs> Autumn likes the GoPro. As I'm serious, I'm loving this camera. It's so tiny. That's a big water. I'm trying, I'm trying to stay more hydrated nowadays. Which, by the way, if you haven't noticed, my voice hasn't gone out in weeks, which is a very good thing. Um, I mean, I'm still drinking just as much coffee, but I'm drinking even more water now, which is very good, very good. I wish they showed up. I have a freaking Dexter theme song stuck in my head. It's such a simple theme, but an awesome theme. I'm so excited about my Mac Pro, guys. I really am. I'm really excited about my displays too. I mean, if I can actually pull it off and get two 27 inch displays, imagine the screen real estate. And like I said in my Mac Pro configuration video on Friday, I'm fascinated by 4K, but I'm not completely sold on, on the idea of having a 4K display in my office yet. There's just not enough 4K content and content distribution yet. And yes, there is 4K on YouTube, but if I made a 4K video, it would probably be watched by literally like five of my viewers, if even. But I can promise you one thing. I will have a 4K display in my house in some form or another as in terms of like a TV or a monitor sometime within the next two years. Because prices are coming down dramatically fast if you haven't noticed. Okay, so maybe I'm not going to watch Dexter. Wait, what is this? Alien Isolation Xbox One made by Sega? Uh, it's not coming out until late this year. What is this about? Interesting. Anyway, I'm going to go on Amazon and do more research on monitors. I'm going to look... Okay, hold on. Let me show you the Dell I was thinking about getting. Is this the one? I don't think it was seven hundred dollars. 
Maybe it is. I could tell by the reviews. Yeah, perfect for Mac Mini, Hackintosh. Amazing monitor, MacBook Pro. Maybe it is $700. Still, though, that's $300 cheaper than the Thunderbolt display is. And my goal is to get two of these. I might just start out with one. It's better than zero, obviously. But it is my goal to have two 27-inch displays by the summertime. It just entirely depends how much money I have once the campaign is done, including, again, my rewards with PayPal, which could definitely help me out a lot. And I'm watching I Still Know What You Did Last Summer. Just as background material. I'm sorry, I totally forgot to tell you the model number because I don't know if it's focusing right. This is the Dell U2713HM. And as well, I guess that's I guess that's part of the model number. I don't know. CVN85. But yeah, just Amazon that. Google it, whatever. Dell U2713HM. But then there's this other monitor I was looking at last night. The Asus PB278Q 27-inch professional graphics monitor. That's what I do. Decisions. And the ratings are actually a little better. Well, the reviews, I should say. And the price is a little lower. Very tempting. Very tempting indeed. I still have a lot of research to do. But it's fun. I love comparing products. I thought a bug was on me for a second. Now this is what I call an in-depth review. Q scream. <laughs> there you go. Anyway, this is another thing I like about this monitor a lot. Kind of like my current ASUS display, my 24 inch on my current Mac Pro, is the fact that it has multiple inputs. So we have mini display, VGA, I don't know why I would use VGA, DVI, HDMI, and then of course audio ports. At least I believe that's mini display. I don't see why not. Because all the other ones I recognize. Again, I haven't really used mini display. Then again, I, I might be using it with an adapter. I'm not entirely sure, guys. I don't know. But the point is, this display does have all the inputs that I would need. So if I ever wanted to hook up a video game console to this, I could. And 27 inches on a desk is pretty damn big. Still reading. By the way, throughout this entire vlog, I may have been saying mini display when I really meant to say mini display port. Because display port, as far as I'm aware, is the original one. And mini display port is just a smaller version of display port. And now here I am doing some freaking research on Thunderbolt. I am all over the place tonight. Oh, God. I completely forgot Thunderbolt was technically designed by Intel, but trademarked by Apple. Because if you think back by a few years, then you'll probably remember this little thing called Light Peak. And that's how Thunderbolt began. So up until now, I thought Thunderbolt was like an Apple exclusive thing, but it's technically Intel, but trademarked by Apple. But they transferred the registration from Apple to Intel. Is anyone else confused by all this? Now see, that's why it's confusing. Thunderbolt was developed by Intel. It was commercially introduced on Apple's 2011 MacBook Pro using the same Apple developed connector as mini display ports, which is electrically identical to display port, but uses a smaller non-locking connector. Though the Thunderbolt trademark was registered by Apple, full rights belonged to Intel, which subsequently led to the transfer of the registration from Apple to Intel. Intel introduced Lightpeak at the 2009 Intel Developer Forum using a prototype Mac Pro logic board to run two 1080p video streams plus LAN and storage devices over a single 30 meter optical cable with modified USB ends. The system was driven by a prototype PCI Express card with two optical buses powering four ports. If you read at the very top on, on Wikipedia, 
Thunderbolt combines PCI Express and Display Ports into one serial signal alongside a DC connection for electric power. Transmitted over one cable, up to six peripherals may be supported by one connector through various topologies. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm rarely this tired. Yeah, it's four in the morning, but still... I'm more tired than usual. Oh God, my legs are just stiff. I know I'm acting like an old man. <laughs> All right, guys. Good night. I'll see you in the morning. I know I'm acting like I'm drunk. Good night, Jamie Owen. Good morning, my fellow peeps and peepettes. I don't know what to deal with peepettes is because peeps is universal. Let me get my iPhone. That's magically playing music on the stairs. Come on, guys, that's it. Please excuse my blotchy skin, as you know. Whenever I get out of the shower, my skin freaks out. Then it goes back to normal in like 10 minutes. This makes me miss the Wind Waker HD. I know it's Ocarina of Time, but it just makes me think of the Wind Waker HD. Because, yes, I still have not fixed my Wii U. I've just been so concentrated on my Mac Pro campaign and my other work. And in terms of entertainment and just having fun, and well, with like video games or whatever, I've been on my PS4 a lot lately with Tomb Raider. Go on, Jazz. And before that, my Xbox One with Titanfall Beta. Go on, Jazz, we're outside. Let's go outside and do our business in a circle. Go ahead, Mr. Pants. Do your thing. And that is where we cut. <laughs> As you can see, no snow yet, but we should be getting significant snowfall later today. Maybe. I don't know. It's always random with Jersey. Dang, Hunter, you are really holding it in. Good boy. I think I'm going to have grilled cheese and tomato soup for lunch. I'm really excited about that. And once again, let's not get that on camera. Enjoy. <laughs> Hunter, what is this? It's literally a basket of your toys. And that's not even all of them. You're one spoiled pup. Good boy. Hunter, why are you still wearing jingle bells? You know, it's March, right? He is a cute dog. All right, let's finally turn a Keurig on. Get some caffeine flown through my bod. Speaking of bod, check out this sexy bod. Use my little smoker dope. Yeah. Then there's this thing. She clawed me already today. But I love her. I believe this is what I'll be using later for my grilled cheese sandwich. I guess. There you go. Yeah, very nice. And look at that. My mom is always nice enough to leave Kristen and me some kind of snack. So there you go. There's my tomato soup. And it's the easy kind. You can just microwave it and it still tastes great. Speaking of microwave, just heated up my coffee. Look at this mug. It's plagued with pants. All right, time to enjoy my coffee. Go up, what light's on? Yeah, this one. Go upstairs, relax for a bit. Probably watch an episode of Dexter. And then, actually I have to charge my GoPro. I didn't even charge it yesterday. But I gotta say, the battery life is better than I thought. Especially with all the RCing we did yesterday with this thing. And we had Wi-Fi on for quite a bit because we kept getting some test shots to see how it looked in the RC um, on my iPhone, which is so awesome. I love that. But GoPro might be sending me the screen, so that would be even sweeter. And then again, that would drain battery life, so it's kind of a bittersweet thing. But I really, really would like that screen. So, we'll find out this week if it arrives. Alright, let me charge the GoPro. Welcome back, my fellow viewers. You are now charged, and you are in my dad's office. Actually, you know what? Let me give you a very, very quick tour. Right up here, we have a few planes and helicopters. Right above my dad's Mac Mini setup, which is running quite well nowadays. And over to the right, we have a larger plane, which I do hope to mount my GoPro onto 
one day, maybe, provided my dad actually lets me, but I don't see why not, because he actually seems very interested in it. And then over here we have parts and some kind of workshop table and another table where I think this is where he's building his end scale layout. Yes, end, end scale, end gauge layout, whatever you want to call it. Hence all the tracks. So that should be pretty cool. And up here are some more things. A couple planes, a highway patrol car, and an M&M plane of some sorts. M&M's plane, I should say. M's, plural. Oh my God, would you look at that? A wild Mitzi has once again been spotted. Mitzi, come back. Hi, Mitz. Oh, you're so cute, yeah. Such a pretty kitty. The smoke a dope, Shane and Autumn. So many cats in one area. Really, guys? And then there is Mr. Pants. Come on out there. Yeah. You tired? You're all slow and dopey. Come on. You are released from jail. Hunter's a freaking workout. I just played with him by running around the house. Pants! Ooh. Ooh. Hunter, it's seriously gonna be so much fun with you in the summer with the GoPro going underwater and just seeing you chase me from underwater with your feet paddling above the camera, it's gonna look amazing. So many opportunities just open up with this GoPro. Really, Smokey? He just knocked over a cookbook and this thing, which is pretty freaking heavy. You know, if somebody was there, you probably would've killed them. How does this go? Oh, opens up. Okay, I need two hands. Nope, I'm good. Alright, this is terrible camera work. Okay. And then we knocked over some kind of cock book. Okay, let's make grilled cheese. Now there's the actual sandwich maker. Here's the cheese and the bread. I'm assuming I just put the bread on there with the cheese on the bread and it takes care of the rest. Because I'm used to either putting it on the stove myself or in the toaster oven. Depends how lazy I feel that day. Or depends how crispy I truly want it to be. And I like extra cheese. I like the ooey gooey cheesy feeling. Especially when the tomato soup is running off the cheese. So freaking good. I love this combination. These freaking animals, I swear to God, I love them. But they drive me absolutely crazy. My stress level just went from here to here. I do not miss living here. Please do not take it the wrong way, but I do not miss this living arrangement whatsoever. Animals are fun to be around, but I have no plans of owning one anytime soon, like an actual pet. They're too expensive, they're a nuisance, they get in the way, and there's fur everywhere. Hey, I'm just being honest. All right, you guys gonna be good? You may escape. There's one. Smokey should be down there somewhere. There he is. Hey Smokey, you're gonna be good now? I believe I'm entering a grilled cheese related coma. By the way, guys, going back to what I was ranting about earlier, I don't want you thinking I don't appreciate my pets because trust me, I love the crap out of them. But somebody out there has to relate. Don't pets get annoying? I just, I'm, I'm just very comfortable in my current living arrangement. I can concentrate on my work more. I don't have all these noises left and right. I don't have cats coughing up hairballs and dogs fighting with each other causing drama. I don't know, maybe that's selfish of me. But then again, as you get older, your feelings change and my patience for animals is very thin nowadays. I love them, but I'm not really psyched about the idea of owning them. They're just fun to be around here and there. I have two episodes left on season one of Dexter. I'm almost done. I mean, the show's really good and I'll definitely be going to season two. So, 
what do you guys do about stress? I mean, because I'm not I'm not gonna lie, I get stressed way too easily. I mean, I'm only 28. I'm gonna be dead by the time I'm 60 if I continue being if I continue to be this stressed on a regular basis. I mean, I love life. I love my life. I'm very appreciative of life. But as you can see, I get frustrated a little too easily. So what do you do about stress? Please comment below. I, I just need ideas. I need things that take my mind off other things that stress me out, such as nuisances with pets. Again, I love them, but sometimes they just drive me nuts. Do you listen to calming music? Do you take a nap, which I actually might do because I feel tired and cranky? Do you watch Netflix? Do you watch The Office? The Office certainly helps me relax. I love that show. What do you do? I need ideas because I need to be more calm in life. I mean, I'm pretty chill in general, but I just wish I wouldn't stress so easily. That's all. Now this is more like it. Good boy, Smoke. He's a cute kitty. Okay, so I have one more episode to go for season one of Dexter. It's getting really, really good. Things are finally coming to a close. And I'm actually kind of fascinated to see how they're going to keep the show going with season two and beyond. Is there going to be something new? I can't really say just in case you guys haven't watched it. Mr. Pants, how are you? You've actually been very good this weekend. You've been perfect. Right, Pants? So since I only have one more episode left, I figured, you know what? I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to finish it, have a cup of coffee. And then I'm probably going to wrap up the weekend vlog because, unfortunately, I have, I have some bad news. My dad's Mac Mini only has two gigabytes of RAM. What? Dad, we got to fix that, seriously. So I could not even install Phonica Pro 10, which really sucks. So in other words, you guys aren't seeing this video until Tuesday. But good thing I thought ahead, because uh, like I said, I do have a video already recorded. Recorded it. Recorded record it yeah recorded didn't sound right edited i i just i just had to actually export and upload which i can do for my macbook pro i can tap into my mac pro remotely from here export upload and then edit the video description from here since it'll technically be on youtube servers and i can edit it from anywhere so i tried running imovie on my dad's mac mini he doesn't even have it installed i'm not sure why because it comes with every mac well, I think I did a clean install of Mountain Lion for him. He's not even running Mavericks. No, he's running Lion. I don't think he's even running Mountain Lion yet. Because iMovie wouldn't even install. It needs at least 10.9.1. And I think he's on 10.7.6. I forget, but the point is I couldn't install it. So that sucks. That's okay, though. At least I have a video for Monday already done. Seriously, I am a prime example of why you should always, always, always plan ahead because I would hate to fall behind on my five days, my, my five videos a week schedule. Because I just say that very seriously. I just have a lot of pride in my work and my schedule and remaining on schedule. I don't want to say schedule too many times, but I did anyway. Smokey, what are you freaking out about? I will feed you soon, I promise, okay? Soon. Now that you're being better, you were a bad kitty before. You got me really frustrated, but I love you. Rawr. Hey, Smoke. There you go. Now, I technically could edit the video tomorrow when I get home, but I don't want to rush through it because with the RC footage, I'm going to have to put some music and I kind of want to take my time. So it'll be up on Tuesday. See, just further proof that I have more water in my diet. And that's a lot of water. Make the jump. Good boy. Smoke a dope. My GoPro says I have recorded 100 clips. That's insane. Because I gotta be honest, last weekend I thought I didn't record enough. And then it ended up being one of my longest weekend, actually my longest weekend vlog ever, an hour and a half. So I was like, what, what do I record? What do I say? That takes up so much time. So yes, this vlog is probably going to be at least an hour long as well. 
Also, it's good that I got Monday's video done already because that gives me more time to concentrate on my video edit. And I also got my traffic reports done last night. Um, I was just kind of chilling watching TV, so I figured why not get it done? I, I can uh, multitask. It's not nearly as easy on my MacBook Pro because I really need dual displays. Um, but I got it done, and that's one less thing I had to do tomorrow, which allows more time for editing the weekend vloggity vlog. Smokey, chill out. What are you freaking out about? I will feed you soon, okay? I'll feed you soon. You have plenty of dry food in the basement. He mainly wants his, the yeah, wet food that I give him every day. Smoke. Meow. Great season finale. Again, I don't want to say anything, because just in case somebody else out there is just starting Dexter like I just recently did. But, great show so far. It's not up there with Breaking Bad, like I said last night, but it definitely is interesting enough to keep me going. I'm just scared of it starting to suck. I think it starts to suck around, like, season 7, somebody told me? I'm not entirely sure. But, yeah. I'll start season 2, maybe tonight. It depends what I have going on. We'll see. Fish. And of course, I cannot forget Homie. Hi, Omer. How are you? Hi, Omi. Oh, my good boy. Yeah. All right, guys. I think that is it for the weekend vlog. I don't really have anything else to say on camera. I'm going to open up my MacBook, bar, my, my MacBook Pro and get some work done. Maybe, including editing this weekend vlog, I highly doubt it. My MacBook Pro is simply not capable at editing uh, HD footage very well. Believe me, it stutters like a mother. Uh, but I'm going to certainly try. However, if you're seeing this on Tuesday, then that likely means that it was a fail. But that's okay. At least I have a video for Monday already. So that's cool. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. Um, one more thing. If you did make it this far to the vlog, congratulations. Thank you for your continued support. I really, really do appreciate it, guys. I mean, seriously, very much. Um, but if you did make it this far, be sure to follow me over at Twitter. Oh, I mean, Facebook. Sorry. Face well, I mean, if you want to follow me on Twitter, too, that's fine. But Facebook.com slash David DeFranco. That link is right below. Make sure to follow me there because I will be giving away at least one $25 gift card for Amazon to a random follower of mine on Facebook. So make that happen. That's just my way of giving back. And yes, there will be future giveaways in terms of other Amazon gift cards, a copy of Forza 5 for Xbox One, as well as other prizes. So guys, thank you again. All of you are awesome. And I will see you in tomorrow's video. Peace.